As an administrative pastor, when I got the message, I cannot verify, verify the message. I don't know whether it's true, whether it's not true. All I know is that I went ahead and used the message. And to with I'm Pastor Gabriel Ibenwa. I have a lot to say, but before I go on, please, I would like uh, to say I have actually blackmailed the man of God a lot, Prophet T.B. Joshua. I have uh, preached a lot of messages against the man of God as the antichrist of our generation. Um, the level of my ministry, I have been the president of uh, Joint Campus Fellowship in Nigeria during my university days, throughout my days in the university, from year one till I graduated. I was the president of Joint Campus Fellowship. Entering service, I was a parent of NCCF. And all those while I used to be a guest speaker in Scripture Union, any youth program they go, I have to be invited as a guest speaker. When Khan and the Christian Association of Nigeria and the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria made it known to us that we should have nothing to do with Prophet T.B. Joshua and the Synagogue Church of All Nations, I took it upon myself as a leader of the youth to make sure that none of them we have nothing to do with the man of God. Please, man of God, I don't know how to say it. I have on my knee. I beg that you forgive me. Why I'm saying this is because I know many people may have received deliverance as I've received, but because of my ministration, Many of them may not have received that. I've gone for a ministry. Through my ministration, a lot of people have been saved. But coming to this ministry, I have fought it with all my vein as a youth. I've fought it with all my muscle that nobody should come here. But after some time, I saw myself backslidden. I started being just administrative pastor. As an administrative pastor, when I got the message, I cannot verify the message. I don't know whether it's true, whether it's not true. All I know is that I went ahead and used the message and keep on ministering. I handled the message they called the last, uh, the Antichrist of our generation, as Prophet T.B. Joshua. And you can imagine when crowd has gathered and you handle such a message, Antichrist of our generation, starting from Nigeria. Why all of us saints are here? What are we doing? Ginger youth finish the message. You can imagine the type of prayer that will happen in the crowd. And we started casting and binding. I don't know where I was going. But after some time, I graduated from microbiology. What I was reading, I went back to school for medical course, which I finished before I got a job with the University of Rio Teaching Hospital, where I'm working as a medical lab scientist, from where I met my wife. When I intended to get her as a wife, the very time I proposed to marry her, the microfinance that was paving way in Uyo, that other micro, my workers will come back and be ask, telling me that, Director, ah, when we went to the field today, people will be asking us, so so and so microfinance director sent for me, I came, they will be asking me, what is the secret of your God, the way the man is shaking the place. But before I know what is happening, I saw myself going down, going down, going down, going down. By now, you cannot even mention the name of the company. Easy Cash Microfinance. Nobody in you know the company again. It has just become silent, like whatever. Today's day that if I mention it in Uyo, some people will be asking, I have not heard that name. Why it is something that was the front line before. Then when these things started happening, then because I approached my wife for marriage, the issue of the snake coming to my bedroom, standing on the suitcase and raised the head as he was to fight me. Then by the special grace of God, due to the little boldness in me, because I know that that anointing was no longer there. I was just administrative pastor. Then I had to go pick a stick, fight with snake, until I killed the snake. I went and burnt it with kerosene. Another one inside the compound as we opened the gate, standing in the gate. I was standing with her that very day. We were even having a little quarrel because she was about either she should go 
intending to marry her. She told me she's AA. All of a sudden, when I was to do the genotype, I saw AS. Because myself, I'm AS. So that I can't marry AS. Because of that, we are trying to have Parkinson's go. I don't. Then the snake entered and climbed my leg. I jumped. The snake ran away and hid somewhere. Then I told the snake, you cannot escape. You must die. God helped me. I killed the snake. Before the final battle of a man appearing to me in my bedroom. I was boxing. But when I boxed, I boxed MTA. When I boxed, I boxed MTA. But the man was dead. I asked, got up from the bed. I saw a man standing in the afternoon. I said, where do you come from? How do you enter here? Then he said, you must leave that girl. Must you marry that girl? That is where I say, I will marry her. Then confrontation started between me and the man. At the end of the day, boxing the air, the man disappeared. When I decided to take her home for introduction to make my family know that this is the person I wanted to marry, on my way to my village, we got lost on the road. We don't know the road again to my village. So it took us a lot of hours to locate ourselves. Later we got myself. We continued. Near to my place, the vehicle knock engine. We parked it by the roadside, called to him van. They came and towed the vehicle. Then we find our way to my house. My family asked me of my vehicle. I told them actually I didn't come with vehicle. Because I don't want to tell them all these stories. Because they will also become afraid immediately and told me to stop there. So to stop it, to cut it there is that when that thing happened that very way, we had that battle, end of the journey, we later got married. After a lot of battle, we got married. When we got married, that is when it seems as if my company, the whole staff said, okay, is it this girl you want to call to come and be eating money when we walk? Nobody told me like that, but it seems as if it is what was agreed. If this person carry money today and run away, you are pursuing with the person with the police and another person will carry his own. I keep arresting Garanto to Garanto, from Garanto to Garanto. Finally, they will tell you I will be paying the money. How much? Five, five thousand, ten, ten thousand. At the end of the day, the money has gone. So this is how I keep losing money and losing money. The microfinance was going down, going down. I saw myself going down to zero level. I keep running around. In the course of this, I told myself it is too much. How will I get a power that will be able to assist me? I think my power at my level can help me again. My prayer could do help me again. My fasting could do help me again. I started looking for a man of God that will help me. When I started looking for a man of God, I don't know where to go. Then I remembered that there is one man I preached about and I used to tell, which we are told not to watch his station. That is Prophet T.B. Joshua. I said, okay. I said, okay, what will happen now is because I had uh, this decoder in my house, this dish, I use it for sports and entertainment and news. I lock the manual TV station. I don't allow anybody to watch it in my home. And I've made it known to them that nobody should watch it in my home. So in the course of this, I decided to be doing it secretly. So that I will be able to find out some things before I know what to do. So whenever I want to watch it, I make sure I lock the door. Close the curtains very well. Nobody will be around. I'll be watching it. Watching the manual TV. Then I'll be watching the manual TV when I lock everywhere. As days keep on moving, I didn't watch it only one month. That's the truth about it. And it has been a secret art in my home. And I keep on watching it until I started matching the activity I was seeing with the scripture. I started matching the activity. I kept asking myself, why then did Khan told us not to? Which I have even, I didn't see anything. With some time, since I'm looking for a solution to my problem and I need a powerful man of God that could assist me, that would help to catapult me out of the deep pit I saw myself going into. Then, when I was like convinced, I said, okay, how do I start to tell my wife about this? I don't know. What I did is, one day I know she was coming in. 
I went on, on this station and sat down watching it. Then she entered. Immediately, she saw out, out. She ran heaven and hell on top of that roof that I must up that station. Immediately, she grabbed my daughter, get into the bedroom, that I must stop that station. You are the one that gave order that nobody should watch this station. I quietly off the station. Gently went to her in the bedroom and said, please, sweetheart, calm down. I am making some findings. I will later tell you the findings I'm making. She took it from me. With time, I kept dropping word to her about the station until she accepted to come and view it with me. Which she did. She viewed it. Gradually, we started watching it. She started, this is what is happening in our family that we are seeing. This is the experience we are passing through. On that issue, we realize that whenever she's watching the man's TV, when the man of God started shouting, out, out, she will start shaking, shaking. Then I started realizing something is going on here. Something is going on here. I think I've gotten to where I'm going. So, why this thing was going on this way? What I then did is, I would like to go to that synagogue physically to know what is going on there. One day, I was to go for a business trip to Lagos. I took my flight, entered uh, Lagos. I went to one hotel down there and lodged. I wore jeans, wore canvas with face cap. I put it backward just to be sure that I disguise myself because many people know me as a minister. So that they will not know that I'm the one. So as much as I can make myself a Yopi guy, I did it. Put hand in my pocket, walking as if, so that if you see me, you'll be saying, can he be the man or may he not be the man? As I entered, I can still remember in that side, that's where I entered from. I went to the back. I sat right at the extreme back. Let me monitor what is going on. I just come to spy what is going on here. I didn't come to participate in anything. Let me know what is going on. From the beginning to the service ended, many people have gone. I don't want to go. I say I will see the end of it today. I watch until the end of deliverance of some people they want they called. I left. I didn't see anything wrong. I didn't see anything contradictory to the scripture. I was like, what is happening? What is going on? Then I came back. Another day again. I prepared again. I came back again. That time I came, the truth, I didn't disguise myself as the first time. But I know I didn't dress well. So that you will not easily recognize that this is that uh, important figure you know. So I hide myself still. I came. I hid. Until the service ended, I went home. On getting home that day, I told my wife, what I said about TB Joshua is not true. That man is a true man of God. So from then, I told her, I think we can go and try that man. So in the process of we planning to try that man, we prepared ourselves, which to summarize the whole story is that we came by November, December last year. We entered here. She jumped. People held her on the hand. The leg will touch the ground. She will jump to the roof. They will pull her down. I said, okay. So, as God will help, help me, at the end of the day, they tried to arrange for deliverance for her. Yeah. But devil be more craver than myself. I thought I'm a man of God. She told me she was pressed. She wanted to ease herself. I said, okay, go and ease yourself and come. Because I was standing by her. I don't want her to go anywhere. But because of that condition, I said, go and ease yourself and come back. She went to ease herself. When she came back, I didn't see the people that were to be delivered. I, two of us, we started running around. That's how we missed our deliverance that day. We came back. Yesterday, we came back again. And at the end of the day, she's delivered. That thing. A point I didn't tell you is that 
when this thing was happening i was looking for who will help me to get back to my spiritual power because i've told her that i will deliver you because of that i got to the center of even i possess my passport which i hold here i came for a man of god to pray for my passport i possess my passport i tried to get a man of god that will help to mentor me to come back to where i was because i now have backsliding practicing religion teaching people bible without the power that got to a point that I have to make, uh, communicate to one man of God outside country, which I would not like to mention name here. I communicated to the man. He told me to come, that he was to help me. That made me, I went and processed my paper. I tried to leave out, outside country for it. The first day, Ethiopia Airlines disappointed me. Then I went the second time. I was also disappointed on the way. By December, when I stopped here, the man of God was praying. I was in overflow. I can still remember when he was telling me, your case is over, your case is I feel he is talking to me. I don't know when I lie down, I start crying. And look at the testimony coming through and the whole thing. And the man of God, the synagogue church of all nations, the place I say that nobody should go, is the place even myself has finally received my deliverance. One important thing in life is that many of us men of God, we act by what news tells us. Because the power is not there. The spiritual insight is not there. I heard and I acted. Many men of God are also acting by what they heard. We don't have spiritual insight. And that is what made me, even as I told you, gave it when my world outreach is not existing again. Because at the time I didn't see my power. And I don't like to handle ministry without power. Because of that, I stopped. So what I can say about it is that I told people not to go. I told people to communicate with this man because I believe that my leaders have done some findings about him. And they told us not to. And I acted based on that ignorantly. So I will plead with other fellow men of God like me. Ignorance acting. Let's find out the truth about whatever we want to do before we do them. If not the condemnation and persecution, do you think I will be in this level I am today? What else again? I know the value of my trials. The value is so great. Make the whole world to know me. It's a free advert. You can see there is no signpost, no signboard. You cannot see any signboard of the synagogue since the beginning of this church. You are my advert. You are my signpost. So the question people used to ask me, why not advert? Why not signboard? At least in front of the synagogue here. You're supposed to see a big board. So I will carry Bible. That will show you. I will carry my Bible like this. I say, <laughs> but you cannot find it anywhere, even in Lagos Island, everywhere. When you are coming, look round, you will not see synagogue church of all nations. Yes. Why? Because God has blessed me with free advice. Look, it takes the spirit of foolishness to hear something without God there and confirm. Every genuine human being, a leader, every leader 
you may be leader now you may be leader tomorrow either you are still young and god has destined you to be leader tomorrow everyone that god destined to be a leader when they hear something it may take time they will find way to confirm what they hear so in the process of confirmation they become part of me and i become part of them This ministry has been for the past 20 years. If there's anyone out there that say is a lead, a man of wisdom, understanding, and still not confirm what through humanity one day, it means something is wrong. It through your confirmation now brought you here. You are not just here. It was what you heard in the past. In the process of confirming your information, you now find yourself. The same thing of a brother here. So, free advert is so gracious. It's a big blessing to me. Free advert brought about Imani TV. I was on the Nigeria National Television and local television. When the miracle was showing, because of me, your former president said they should remove the miracle. And they removed the miracle and they stopped miracle video, I mean program, on your national television and your local television. And the, the body that guide the station, television station in Nigeria, there was law that no any miracle pastor should be shown. It's because of me, not because of anybody. That brought about Imane TV. That brought about what? Are you listening to me? Let me tell you. Sometimes you say some one man is not good, that man is not good. I pray that rest in peace, the president Yaradua. There is sanity that is bothering you, my friend. Please say it so others will learn. Bring it to true dreams with lady and God will be your strength. Bring it to true dreams.